Hello and welcome back to our Montreal Majestic uh, My League playthrough. We've added six teams to this competition, of course, and unfortunately, we're still yet to find a win. We currently sit in last place. We're only playing against the other creative teams that we have brought into this competition, so uh, we really need to be training for good picks, bringing up some uh, talent from the free agency, and uh, hoping that uh, Montreal can get on a run before we get fired. We're going to get into this with some more games for you today. We'll progress on, and as we get towards the end of the season, I'll look to our uh, trade and transfer some picks around. Hopefully we can pick up some decent picks going into the next draft and really build up Montreal for the future. But let's get into this series. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Smack the like button if you do. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let's get into this episode. Right, time to get into the first game of this episode. We're going to be uh, taking on the Baltimore Blues once again. We lost to them 71-50 to in our last encounter. So can we get our first victory here uh, against the Baltimore Blues? Let's jump in to the first game. All right, here we go at the Royal Farms Arena. We've changed to the 2K uh, camera settings, as uh, was suggested in the uh, comment section. So we'll see how this plays out for us. Let's see what we can do here with Hampton. Shooting from deep. Can't get the, the ball out. And uh, okay, we we'll have to get used to this. All right, this is uh, going to take me a little. I was only just starting to get used to the other gameplay, so uh, we'll see how we go. Oh, we get our first bucket finally through Brown. It's been up and down action so far in the first four minutes, but uh, just got to get used to this new camera setting. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. Now here's Anthony. Not a lot of room. Oi, there we go. A big bucket. A big bucket. And we've got the lead. Oh, there we go. Carmelo driving to the line. Staying in touch with Baltimore at the moment. We'll go to the spot uh, for a couple of free throws or just the one. Holy hell, it's all shaking. It's all breaking loose. But uh, Carmelo steps up in the clutch. We've equalized. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. Now, there we go. We get inside and we stay in touch. 13 to 10. Nato with the dunk. Oh, good work from McClung. Gets inside. Uh, we're just staying in contention here. Nothing stupid. Just uh, trying to buy on our time and hope that they miss a few buckets. Oh, not with that kind of defense. That is terrible. 10 seconds left. Oh, it's a good block there. Out of bounds, though. Blues ball. McClung got in the way. Nine seconds remaining. We're only one point down. And this will be a good first quarter here from Montreal. We've been whitewashed a lot. Oh, yes. Oi. So there we go. End of the first half. Uh, first quarter, should I say. And that's 17 for the Baltimore Blues. 16 for the Montreal Majestic. It's an out wide here for Sumner. Oh, and he couldn't get the play to go. Oh, how does he get through three, for fuck's sake? Yes, McDaniels starting to heat up. Keeping this in the game here. Oh, that's poor defending again. Oh, draws the foul. Going the spot again. Drawing a lot of fouls here at the moment. This is Morland. And he puts it in. That's better defense, but we need to get them rebounds. And we do get the rebound and fires it off here. Hampton will come in and bang, gets the big dunk. And we've leveled it up here in the second quarter. Big block. Here we go. Montreal starting to take the ascendancy. Back off for Hampton. And he comes inside. Oh, big block again. Another foul. Go to the spot again. Well, they're not happy with the Majestic. We're starting to get a bit of a roll happening. Oh, big three from Hampy. Get it in, son. Oh, Hampton gets the steal. Feeds it off for Sumner. And he gets the bucket. And we've got a seven-point lead. Montreal on a route. Oh, Hampy. In on the inside. Montreal starting to really take control of this game now. Well, there we go. Half time. 32 to 25. Montreal are in control of this game at the moment, but can we hold on? 
the pass to Hampton. Over Mason. Oh, Hampton again. Hampy's heating up. He's got 11. 11 points. This isn't like him. Oh, lovely from McDaniels, just works his space inside the key. And that lean has been reduced to four points. Oh, McDaniels, he's finding some points now. Oh, big three bucket. Oh, it's a good one inside. Bam, Sumner. Well, oh, Baltimore were finding their way back into it, but we've uh, stretched the lead out again to five points. Well, there we go, end of the third quarter. The deficit reduced to five, but one quarter left to play. Can Montreal get their first win of the season? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's another foul. Baltimore are coming right back here in the fourth. This is a chance to level it up already. And no, we keep our one point lead. It's a long one out for Hampton. And he creates the three point lead. Oh, no. Baltimore with a big shot from downtown. And they've got the lead now. It's been a wrestle. To find a way back into this one. Oh, for fuck's sake, Hampton, you can't hit a fucking simple jump shot. You've been rinsed here. Oh, fuck off. Oh, we can't hit a simple fucking jump shot. Fuck off. Ah! Oh, why would you throw it there, you fucking idiot? Fuck me! Finally, Hampton hits a shot. We need to get right back into this game. Well, there we go. We've gone down by 12 points. A really shit final quarter there from Montreal. And we still fail to get our first win of the season. Well, just a quick look at uh, the statistics. Hampton got himself 20 points and three assists, but no one else was really contributing in this game. And uh, unfortunately, it's another loss for the Montreal Majestic. All right, so I have changed those settings. Uh, what are they? Uh, I did see it in the comments to uh, to change them up. Uh, something to do with the, uh, the uh, my leg settings. We've turned on normalized play to sim minutes and normalized play to sim stats. Let me know if that's what you guys were after in the comments section. Uh, hopefully that, uh, you know, created a little bit more of a, a realistic event because we're only playing six minute quarters compared to the 12 minute simulated quarters. Right, so it was a loss to the Chicago Bulls, 95 to 110. Uh, and now it is time to take on the St. Louis Lightning. So uh, let's get into this one. Maybe, fingers crossed, we can get ourselves a win. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go at the Enterprise Center to take on St. Louis. And uh, we'll see how they go. Ah, well, can we find a victory? That is the question. We're trying hard, but we gave it up there in the final quarter against Baltimore. Home court advantage, D for St. Louis. Oh, opens it up with a three-pointer. Suck him up. Yes, points for Hampton. Starting it off. Just doing the job on the backboard. Oh, pretty up and down first quarter here. Just trying to stay in the game here. Covered by Anthony. Back to Zubats. Oh, pick up the ball, mate. Oh, jeez. All right, we're in contention, though. Just starting off slowly, just uh, up and down the court, just trying to uh, get simple baskets here at the moment, not being too aggressive. We just need to work on our D. Oh, as they get a big three basket. Fuck. Well, we're down by three at the end of the first quarter. Oh, McDaniels drives the lane. We've got the lead. Jaden McDaniels with a big dunk here. Bang. There we go. One of our draft picks doing some damage. 
piece of it. Now Montreal. Hampton. Oh, with the steal and Carmelo gets the dunk. We've got a three-point lead here in the second. Oh, McDaniels loves going to the rim. To the three-point lead. Here we go, Carmelo to the line, and then we'll go for a bonus. As we get the layup and draw the foul. All right, let's go. There we go, sweet as a biscuit. And there we go, halftime, a five-point lead to the Montreal Majestic. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, St. So Louis starting to hit some shots now, and they're five points up. We are halfway through the third. Oh, come on. I can't hit them fucking mid-range jump shots. It's pissing me off. Fuck. Oh. Fuck sake. Just put one in the bucket. Oh, come on. Why? Fuck sake. What is wrong with this team? Lack composure. Oh, fuck. Yeah, all right. Go on, son. Fuck me. Fucking defend. Now I'm a fucking 11 points down again already. Oh, cock. Oh, fuck me. There's three of you there. The defense struggling to contain them. Run! Well, there is the third quarter to put in the bin because uh, we are down by 13 points. Yeah, fucking take that in the basket. Come on. What? Just give me the fucking ball. Oh, why can't I nail a simple fucking little shot? Fuck these buttons off! Oh, for fuck's sake! Why is it so hard to score? Why do these fucking buttons keep popping up? Fuck off! Yes! Come on, McDaniels! Come on, Montreal! Good on the second free throw. Seconds left in the well, this one is done and dusted. We've been run off the park here by St. Louis. We cannot make a fucking shot to save our lives. And it's another loss. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board. Well, Cole Anthony for the Lightning got 25 points. Our top scorer was McDaniels in 11 minutes with 10 points and 7 rebounds. But we just can't hit any shots here at the moment. I need to practice more. All right, let's have a look here. Another loss here against the Bucks, 136 to 103. A close one there against the Raptors at 101 to 105. Uh, another close one against the Hornets. We're getting closer to a win, and then we get smashed by uh, the Hawks, 136 to 88. We move in to uh, the next month, which is obviously December, and we get a loss here against the 76ers. Then we get our first win. Well, we lost there against the Pelicans, but our first win comes against the Knicks, a 92 to 91. We back that up with another victory against the Pelicans, 111 to 99. We lose to Oklahoma. We get a victory over the Heat, 111 to 100, and then over Golden State, uh, 123 to 100. Then we beat the Mavericks 121 to 117 before losing to the Jazz 127 to 114. So starting to become a little bit more competitive. All right, let's have a quick look at how the squad is progressing. Hampton is a 79. Uh, he's averaging 21 points a game. 76 now for McDaniels. He's growing. Carmelo 76. Zobat 77. Nate is a 72. Um, okay, Sumner 71. Sterling Brown 71. Moreland 74. McClung's out injured with a right hand fracture, 69. Magruder, 73. Theo Pinson is a 70. Jackson, a 70. BJ Johnson, a 70. Coetta is a 70. EJ Montgomery, 68. So uh, we've got some players and they're starting to grow, but Hampton there is probably the pick at the 79 rated. All right, let's have a look at the standings. The Atlanta Hawks are on top of the Eastern Conference. Uh, how are the other teams doing here? Well, not looking good for Baltimore. I've got 10 and 18. Uh, they've lost their last two. St. Louis are 6 and 22. And uh, we are still bottom with 5 and 22. So, um, 
Yes, it's not looking good, but at least we've got some wins on the board now. And in the Western Conference, let's have a quick look up the top. LA Lakers are up and about. Where are our teams that we've brought in here? The Albuquerque Aeronauts are 11 and 18. Honolulu Sharks 10 and 18. And Seattle are at the bottom with 3 and 24. That is where we will finish today's episode. If you've got any more advice or things that I should be doing here, do let me know in the comments section. We'll be back next week with another episode with the Montreal Majestic. We'll see you then. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when...